Welcome to Neuromimic and a little quick information video for people that might not be aware of all the recent releases put out in, uh, associated with Dungeons and Dragons. This is the star set, Dragons from Stormwick Isle. I think most of you have seen this in Target and other big box stores. This is not what I actually wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you are the associated miniatures. And there is a line put out by WizKids called Icons of the Realm. And they have various monsters and uh, associated player classes. However, there is a special set. And that's these guys here. And if you go look very closely, these are the characters from the anime series. Isn't that amazing? So this is found in a blister packet. Looks like this. Um, they give them a different classes that you can clearly see here. This is Eric, Presto, Hank, Sheila, and Diane. But uh, on the back of the blister packet, instead of Hank being a ranger, he's a fighter here. Instead of acrobat, Diane's a rogue. For Presto, still a wizard. Sheila, instead of her being a, well, I'm not sure what she was, uh, probably more of a rogue character, I suppose, with that cloak of invisibility. Um, she is now a cleric, and Eric, instead of a cavalier, he was a paladin. But these are the miniatures. Um, they're really well done for the small uh, size they are. Um, we'll get a little close up here. Eric still has this uh, scared little expression back of the miniature there. Got Presto here. Got his uh, spell effect. Maybe magic missiles coming out. Even some detail in his spell book. Got Hank here. Turn him around. So most of these new figures put up with WizKids, they feature clear bases instead of black bases. So if you put them on a battle mat like I showed on the last video, you could see the detail of the terrain beneath. So here you can see she's more of a cleric. She has a mace here now. And of course, Diane with her staff. Uh, if you go shopping around for these, uh, you should definitely check out how straight her staff is because obviously some of them come out bent. Uh, these are made out of plastic. If you do end up one with a bent uh, bow, you can use some hot water and dip it in there and straighten it out and run it underneath cold water. So that's a quick fix if you're not aware of that tip. These are all to scale with the pre-existing uh, Dungeons & Dragons figures. So here's a little mimic I have. Let's see how that fits over there. All right, so thank you for watching. I'm not sure if you guys were aware of this figure set pack, but pretty cool little thing to get. And you could definitely use these as substitutes for standees and different board games, such as Karat or other board games they like to play. Uh, they work definitely well and add a little nostalgia and flavor to your uh, life. Thank you for watching.